Gratitude in so, so many ways is, is so missing in the world today. Uh, so dramatically missing. At the core of all the emotions in life, this one is the one that allows us to live satisfied. That means in full appreciation of what we have is the emotion that carries the power of bringing enough. Without gratitude, nothing is enough. It's always something else coming later. He was in absolute devastated by the hunger. And he had a piece of bread that was all he had, and he has been keeping it for a long, long time. A woman crossed the street, came to him and said, Sir, my father literally at this very minute is dying of starvation. Do you have anything, anything that I can give him? And my father told me in that story that he was in such an anguish and he got the bread and give it to her. We arrived to the place where that event took place and my father said, this is the house where I was, remember, about the bread and that. And we were talking and a woman crossed the street came to my father and said, are you Gregorio? And my father said, yeah. Do you remember the bread you gave me? And my father was completely taken and I remember his jaw falling and in disbelief and he hugged the woman and they hugged each other and that was a time where I fell in touch with what gratitude was all about. I remember watching them and they were crying, they didn't talk, they couldn't. Something in that moment set in me in a way that I carry it today in everything I do. There was a message he constantly sent me about the appreciation of simple, simple things to a degree that it was impossible not to listen. Almost everything he was in touch with, the message was, look what you have. me a little bit to see that today we chat a lot but we don't converse a lot uh, that we are not captured because we live in a world in which I already know you already know it's a matter of exchanging something rather than the creation of a world or the creation of who we are which is the most beautiful aspect of a conversation. I have a group of friends, very close friends, uh, where the most beautiful thing that happened in the conversation with them is that I'm not judged. Uh, I, I can open a topic. They can open a topic. We can agree on Sometimes we fall in a topic and suddenly we are captured by that and we begin to walk and go and go and look at that and look at And no matter how crazy things we say, no matter how unfitting things we say, how much we can be crazy about something, taken by, raptured by something. You know what? I know I'm not judged. I am... Uh, taken, I am embraced. Um, that is the glorious aspect of friendship and, and a loving relationship. Suddenly the conversation goes to a place that we never imagined it will go at the beginning. Rather, the conversation begins to have its own force, its own pulling, 
rather than you or I defining where to go. Literally, for me, those moments of great conversation are moments in which we are free. Literally free. Nothing is truer than that sentence from Socrates, that the more I know, the more I realize how ignorant I am. The, it's profound, ignorance. Jeez, it's profound. With this pretense we have that we have enough information about everything, you know, we have produced this separation. We know everything about that, but we don't learn from that. We know everything about trees, but we stop learning from trees. What happened to us? Where did we get the illusion that because I know the chemistry of a tree, I know the tree? We have no clue. We, we have no clue. And, and, and you know what? The interesting and fascinating thing to having no clue is that then you fall in love with questions. Really, really. And, and, and um, not questions to be answered, questions that are guidance. There are guides in life. Um, and it doesn't take away at all learning, on the contrary, but a learning in a different place. In wisdom, it's a, it's a love affair with questions. Knowledge is a love affair with answers. And we are so attracted by knowledge. We measure knowledge, we possess knowledge, we patent knowledge and so forth. So forth. But we have lost concern for wisdom. And wisdom, you cannot own it. Wisdom, you cannot patent. Wisdom, you cannot. Wisdom has a different dimension. I touch life. Yes, it's concrete. It smells. It tastes. It has a flavor to it. Um, but it's far from any explanation. The mystery is so huge, so big, so immense, so infinite. You know that I look for moments of solitude. I do. I, I sometimes walk by myself with my dog, for instance, hours. And I just wonder. And I, at that time, I just want to be like that. It's almost as if in those moments, every, every act of gratitude and love and, that people have expressed uh, is the time of the sinking of it. I am so deeply grateful, and I didn't say it that way probably ever before. So grateful for the love of so many people. So many. I'm so lucky. It's, it's, it's unbelievable how lucky I am. What happened that life has been so generous to me? When I woke up here in my home, and I see my son, my wife, what we have, um, I, I, I say that on a daily basis, thank you to whomever. Um, because no matter what I do, I don't live like I deserve this. I live like I thank life for this. Simplemente amo la vida. La amo profundamente.